In about 15 minutes or so, we are expected to hear from a doctor on how the victims of this morning's bus crash are doing. That crash happened along I-70 near Adams Dairy Parkway. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth is outside the hospital now. And, and Josh, a tractor trailer hit this bus in Blue Springs. We know that massive scene was there. What are investigators saying about how the crash unfolded? Well, the truck driver told Highway Patrol that he was choking on gum and reaching for water at the time when he lost control of the truck and slammed into that charter bus. Now everyone that was inside that bus, every single one of them, all 10, they're inside the hospital right here in Independence at Center Point Medical Center. Two of them, though, are fighting for their lives. Landon Wittick lives just feet away from where the crash happened and arrived at the scene even before paramedics. It was loud enough. Like I said, I thought, I thought this whole building was coming down. Debris strewn all along I-70, a massive scene. Ten people are now hospitalized. I heard people screaming before I even got there that, you know, someone wasn't moving. The passengers were clinical volunteers on a trip from St. Louis to Overland Park. That's when their charter bus got a flat tire along westbound I-70 and had to pull over near Adams Dairy Parkway in Blue Springs. Then, a tractor trailer came barreling through and sideswiped the bus. The driver of the semi distracted. Well, inattention is the leading cause of crashes, and based on the preliminary statements from the driver, uh, for whatever reason, uh, he was doing something that caused him to run off the roadway. A chaotic scene even for first responders. Something like this, to this extent, we, don't, we haven't had for a very long time. I can't remember the last time. And for Wittick. She was not moving at all, and I, just, I keep seeing her face. The ER doctor inside Center Point Medical Center is speaking to one of our crews in just a few minutes. We'll get an update on how those two patients with serious conditions are doing. When they were taken in earlier today, one was in serious condition, the other one in critical condition. Reporting live from Independence, Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News.